welcome to the second episode of Doug's Electronic Repair Bench. For this episode, we will be making an audio signal generator probe from an ordinary thing. And now, without further ado, here is Doug. Thanks, Crystal, for that rousing introduction. Just wanted to explain how come it's not Victoria like it was the first episode. Um, I, some of you probably know I switched to uh, sitting here in the living room uh, using my Toshiba laptop. Well, obviously it doesn't run Mac software. So, I uh, found naturally something natural voices or something like that. And uh, it basically does the same thing. Just reads the text that you type in and uh, I can save it with Audacity as a sound file and then I added the uh, music and everything so I thought it was a little better a little better uh, title sequence so I may experiment more with it but anyway that's enough for the explanation now let's get on to the project at hand alright for this project uh, I already took my Dremel tool and uh, scraped off the coating or whatever you want to call it from the top of the nail. Next thing we're going to do is tin it with some solder, hopefully. And then I'll take a piece of this small wire and add that to it to get it up to the capacitor. And then we'll go from there. But uh, I'm not really sure yet which wire I'm using. I, I've got the choice of using this wire here, which is rather long. I had another one like it with both had the same ends on it, like the male ends on it. And I've got uh, a shorter one, but this has got, it uh, goes from eighth to uh, sixteenth or whatever the next smallest size is. So I don't really want to destroy that in case I need it. And it'd be nice if I could find the end of the solder. Mm hmm. There it is. Alright. Soldering iron's hot. Well, how does it get, I guess? Let's put a little heat on here. Oh, yeah. That's going to take good. And we'll put that there. Clean off a little end of this. Uh, this stripper is nice, but it's kind of hard to use sometimes. I usually do better with a pair of side cuts. Nice if I could tin this too. I don't know, I'm gonna try and we'll see what happens. Just to move around the end of the cord there. Oh yeah. Alright. Now just a matter of heating that back up. And like that. Yes. All right. Now that's on there. I'm gonna clean the tip off a little bit. There we go. I'm a firm believer in clean soldering iron. Uh, also, I don't know paid attention or anything like that, but I, I had to, I, was, I said something about my helping hands some time ago, um, that has, uh, I couldn't find it, basically, uh, what I'm trying to say, and uh, I think what I'm going to do, or well, I actually did, I ordered another set, they're, they're only like six bucks. 
And I also ordered another desoldering bulb because I can't find that either. And I just bought that not too long ago. I know this is a bag on girls. Did something with it, but I have no idea where it's at. So anyway, enough of that. That's uh, that should be here Monday. So that'll be nice. Now see this may be a little tricky getting that in there because I believe I ran the solder over a little bit. I may have to grind that off a little bit. And lucky for me, I didn't, uh, I didn't uh, unplug, or I didn't take the uh, end out of the Dremel. So that should be a simple ladder. Should be a simple ladder. Let's see if I can hold it with my fingers. Sometimes a little goes a long way with the drill. There we go. And I've got it in there a little further. Still not quite far enough though. May have to uh, Round that hole out a little bit, looks like. I don't think there's anything holding it but the the size of the nail. And I don't have the, the strength of that to push down. Maybe these hand stats I can get down in there. Nope. Yeah, I see it coming out a little bit. Probably get stuck in the won't be able to go either way with it. Now yeah. that's not gonna work. Something else will have to be done. That's a good test for the solder job anyway. I uh, don't want to get that burn up, so let's move that a little bit. Alright, um Alright. Let's uh, see about rounding out that. Maybe a drill, small drill. Yeah, that might have been a little too much. Let's see if I can find another one here. Slightly smaller. Almost like there's something at the end of that, like a buildup of something. Let's see if that fits any better. Well, now it goes in there. I think a little bit more bigger drill, just a tiny bit. getting it too too big because I'm going to glue it in anyway. Yeah, that should do it. Let's see. Oh yeah. Nice. Alright. Now for the glue this time, I think I'm going with goop glue. Uh, I don't know if anybody's actually ever used it or not, but uh, the, um, you know, I don't really know if any of this is getting filmed or not, but I hope it is. I hope I don't have to do this again. Um, 
So I'm going to take a break here and go find the glue. Get that ready to do because there's no sense in trying to fit any of the rest of this until it's glued in. Did break a little bit of a piece out of that, but it's okay. That should work really, really well, I think. So we'll take a break here. Be right back. All right, back with you. Here's the goop glue. Goop glue. Um, notice this is actually contact adhesive. I popped this for uh, gluing the uh, uh, rubber around my windows on the Buick. Haven't tried it yet. I haven't got that done yet. But, you know, uh, we'll see how it works when I guess we'll miss. Let's see. Go from there, maybe. Anyway. Really not much to do on this, but I think coat the uh, coat the uh, nail, stick it down in there, and leave it sit. I don't know exactly how long it's got to cure. Probably on the back somewhere here. Let's see. The search for clean, you know, and service and cure approximately two minutes mating services. Argus. Well, to repair the drive for 24 hours. Okay, so apparently all the further I'm going to get today is gluing this in. Might as well unplug the soldering iron. No sense in heating that up anymore. I have to. So once I get that glued in. Next step will be to uh, put it back on oh, the tube, this tube, in this tube, and get the uh, the capacitor soldered. The last step, obviously, is going to be in getting the uh, cord. I, 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 I'm going to have to find out which one cord I want to use. But let me glue this real quick. And no sense in trying to apply to both surfaces because uh, it's going to be I think if I run it in there and turn it around a few times maybe like this that should coat it all over the place this is going to come off Alright, that should work. Just blew off my finger. Now, I don't think there's anything else I need to do. Put the cap back on this. And we will see you in 24 hours, I suppose. Thanks for watching so far.